allow me to illustrate okay we have a stripe in a neutral black and white pair them together stunning I really hope you guys are in the mood for a styling session today because today's video is episode three of how to be your own stylist and the subject of today's video is Bermuda shorts. This has been highly requested. It seems that a few of you have jumped on my Bermuda short train. I discovered Bermuda shorts in 2019 and I have not looked back. I love them so much. They are one of three in my most worn bottoms. The other two being denim and denim cutoffs. You know, I just am obsessed with Bermuda shorts. And I'm so thrilled when you guys message me on Instagram or in the comments of a YouTube video and you tell me that you've tried them out and you love them and you send me pics. It's so great when we're able as women to inspire each other and you know just broaden our horizons when it comes to our personal style. So yes 2019 is when I discovered a pair of Bermuda shorts in my local op shop. They were a navy colored pair these ones right here. And I remember my first Instagram shoot with these pants were paired with a pale blue short sleeve shirt, my pale blue denim Converse, and my tan crossbody fossil bag, which I no longer have. I went for a tonal look. I think it was just my way of easing into how to style these pants. But let me tell you, they're not hard to style. I wear Bermuda shorts, autumn, not really winter, but spring and summer. You can dress them up and you can dress them down. If you're like me and you love trouser pants, well then, styling up a Bermuda short is very similar to that. The only thing that changes slightly is the shoe. Okay, there are shoes that I would wear with trouser pants that I would not necessarily pair with Bermuda shorts. So at the moment, I think I have in total 11 pairs. And most of them are vintage. So this was my first pair, a navy pair. And by the same vintage label, I have a yellow pair, a gorgeous periwinkle blue pair, and then a darker kind of cobalt blue pair. And so to have four pairs of Bermuda shorts by the same vintage label, Lisa Fashions, I, I was just obsessed. And every time I would go into my local op shops, I would be on the hunt for Bermuda shorts. But I do have others, also vintage. I think only two pairs of my Bermuda shorts are from H&M. And those are this pastel blue linen pair, absolutely stunning. And this pair, which is a dressier type of fabric, a chiffon polyester fabric, as opposed to the pair that I have on, which are a black polyester viscose kind of cash. These ones are also a little longer. So I have those two by H&M. So you can find them in H&M and Zara, but if you can thrift vintage, do that because they're made just, oh. I also thrifted this gorgeous vintage pair with the plaid, just love those. And a classic white, which is just, oh, so easy to style. And more recently, I was lucky enough to thrift myself a gorgeous pink pair, also vintage. So yeah, don't overlook the op shops. They are littered with Bermuda shorts. So in the beginning, when I only had the navy pair, I would style them up with those pale blue Converse, which I still have. They're quite beat up now, but I just loved that tonal look with the navy. Now, some people are not really into navy, I love it. I feel it's so classic and chic. So I do love my navy Bermuda shorts so much. And I found so many different ways to style them, whether it was a tonal look or with say a gray graphic tee, a real sporty look. When it came to choosing what shoe, at the beginning, it was always Converse. Whether they were low profile like those blue ones or a high top chunky Converse trainer like these, which 
I'm still obsessed with. I think they are so cool. And when paired with Bermuda shorts, you get that gorgeous juxtaposition of a tailored short with a, you know, down to earth, offbeat, high top trainer. I just love that look. The next color I added to my Bermuda short collection was yellow. And I remember I styled it one day and shot it for my Instagram with this absolutely gorgeous Karen Walker sleeveless blouse and it had a lemon design on it. I regret selling that piece. Oh my God, I wish I had that piece still. That look was simply gorgeous to me. So no matter what color the Bermuda shorts are, choose a top, a blouse in this case, something ultra feminine that has the same color in the blouse and tie them in together that way. And so that's how I grew my Bermuda shorts collection. Whatever color I found, as long as it fit me, I would take it and style it up in that way. And this is just another way that I style my Bermuda shorts with a feminine blouse and I stress feminine because when you look at Bermuda shorts, they're quite masculine looking as are trousers. A feminine piece on top, a masculine piece on the bottom is the perfect juxtaposition and you can go either way with the shoe. You can wear a high top trainer or you can go for a more elegant shoe like a kitten heel or a pretty sandal. Okay, so where did Bermuda shorts originate and why were they deemed Bermuda shorts? Bermuda shorts were originated in Bermuda. So Bermuda shorts are considered proper business attire for men when in suit-like fabric with a shirt, a tie, knee-high socks, loafers, then a lot of designers started making them for women. And thank God for that because I love that masculine, feminine juxtaposition in my outfits. As I mentioned, denim cutoffs are one of my most worn bottoms. Well, if you are not one to wear cheeky denim cutoffs, get yourself a pair of Bermuda denim shorts. These have been worn to death. I got them from H&M. They're in a beautiful light wash with a little bit of distressing. These are a staple in my wardrobe. I have worn the hell out of them. I take them with me when I travel. I wear them in my daily life on the coast. I dress them up, I dress them down. Get yourself a pair of denim Bermuda shorts. With the exception of winter, as I mentioned, I wear Bermuda shorts all year round. And one look I just love so much is corduroy Bermuda shorts. I did own a pair, but they were men's. And they were just a little bit too puffy in the crotch area, which is why I got rid of them. But corduroy is such a cozy fabric. And as it starts to cool down, paired with a gorgeous knit. Oh my God, that is a beautiful outfit. I am coveting a pair of corduroy, whether they're retail or vintage, I don't really mind, but in a neutral color, like a brown, a warm latte color, oh gosh. I remember buying this pair of Bermuda shorts. They're a tie dye in a sweat fabric and I wore them with a pink blazer a linen pink blazer. So Bermuda shorts really did force me to think outside of my range of knowledge when it came to styling. And I love that. That is how I grow and evolve my personal style. Another go-to of mine is styling Bermuda shorts with a shirt, whether it's a linen shirt for the summer or a men's beautiful cotton shirt or even a feminine silky shirt. It doesn't really matter. A shirt looks fantastic with Bermuda shorts. So I kind of go for it. You know, I go masculine on top, masculine on the bottom. Even a high top trainer is kind of masculine and then I'll wear a very feminine bag. So we're in the peak of summer here down under and I still wear my Bermuda shorts. Today was 35 degrees and I'm wearing a black pair with this gorgeous little knitted strapless top from H&M. But I've glammed it up a bit with all this gold jewelry. I'm wearing this gold vintage chain belt. I have a gold watch on, a gold cuff, a gold bangle, 
layered gold statement necklaces one of them with a black cord to tie in with the black in my top and the black in the Bermuda shorts and a very feminine pair of gold sandals and also the bag I was carrying today was my crossbody Tory Burch bag which has more gold accents on the hardware and the raffia ties in with the cream of my strapless top so lots of feminine touches thrown in to not only juxtapose the masculinity of my shorts but to dress it up however you could go in the opposite direction and dress it completely down with a tank top high top converse trainers lose the jewelry perhaps a feminine crossbody bag and there you have a more casual simple way of wearing the Bermuda shorts. So most Bermuda shorts you will come across will have belt loops. However, that does not mean you have to wear a belt. I love both. So when I am wearing a belt, I love to tie it in with a same colored top. So for instance, if I was wearing my white Bermuda shorts, I would go for a black top and also a black belt to tie those two in together, but to also juxtapose the white of my Bermuda shorts with the black of my belt. It just elevates the look. It's so chic. And that is a style tip in my arsenal of style tips that I use quite often in my outfits whenever I'm wearing bottoms, say trousers, denim shorts, skirts. I love to tie in the belt with my top. In this sweltering heat, another way I love to wear my Bermuda shorts is with a bodysuit. So a tank style sleeveless bodysuit that is just so seamless because it tucks in beautifully. It's a very fine layer. It's simple and fresh and if you add a belt, it also elevates the look because it's quite simple. You know, a tank top isn't really much of a statement piece. So when you add that belt, it just looks more put together. And of course, add some statement jewelry and it just, you know, makes the most simple outfit look effortless. A toner look is also a go-to of mine when I'm wearing Bermuda shorts. So if I was wearing my white Bermuda shorts, I'd wear a white bodysuit, a gold belt because a white belt just wouldn't, it just would blend in with the white. But the gold is so subtle, it's like jewelry, so it elevates the look, but it doesn't interrupt the outfit. So when you're seeing the look, it's all white. You see that belt, but it's just got this beautiful flow. It's seamless. And maybe a gold sandal and a pop of color with the bag. Red, black, whatever it may be. A tonal look is kind of like my go-to when I can't be bothered thinking about how to put a look together. Tonal always wins. Chic, effortless, Stunning. Okay, let's talk about shoes for a minute. Now I did mention in the beginning of the video that the only thing that differs from styling a Bermuda short to styling a trouser pant would be the shoe for me. I guess the shoe depends on what kind of vibe you're going for. So if I want a quirky, offbeat, tomboy meets girly kind of vibe, I'm gonna go for my high top trainers, my Converse. I have black, white, maroon, navy, dark gray, light gray. I have so many, so I just kind of rotate them, right? But I do love my black and white ones the most. They get the most wear. If I'm going for a preppy nautical look, then it will be loafers. And more often than not, they're gonna be the white pair. I wear them a lot in the summertime. If I wanted to go girly, a kitten heel, a pointy, kitten heel or a pretty sandal. How about I tell you the shoes I would not wear with Bermuda shorts? And one comes to mind straight away. They are these. Mary Jane, square toe, block, little heel. I would not wear these with Bermuda shorts because Bermuda shorts, more often than not, come just above the knee. If I wear this shoe, the front is not pointy, so it's gonna make me look a bit stumpy, frumpy. I don't know what the word is. It's not gonna elongate the leg. Do you know what I mean? This is not the right shoe. However, a kitten heel, gorgeous. Okay, the difference. 
This is a feminine shoe, so is this. This is pointy and elongating, this is not. Yes, no. And of course, a stiletto. I would not, absolutely not, wear a stiletto with Bermuda shorts. I have worn boots with Bermuda shorts and they look amazing, they honestly do. I've worn Western boots, I've worn riding boots, they look great. Even ankle boots, little sock ankle boots look amazing with Bermuda shorts. I want to touch on colour very briefly and then we will move into some outfits. Styling up neutrals are a no-brainer. Black, white, even the plaid pair, they're in neutral colours. It's just a no-brainer, you guys know how to style neutrals. When it comes to colour, such as pink and blues, and yellow, well, that's when it gets a little tricky. For instance, my pink Bermuda shorts I have worn, styled up with a graphic tee that has the same pink in it. But you do not have to tie in the color of your Bermuda shorts anywhere else in the outfit. You don't. What you can do is go neutral. Neutrals work with any color. Choose any color and I'm telling you a neutral is going to work with it. Okay, so a neutral could be a block color or a print. Allow me to illustrate. We have a stripe in a neutral black and white. Pair them together. Stunning. Let's do a block color. There we have white and yellow, stunning. Black and yellow, stunning. Another print, a polka dot, also in neutral colors, a cream and a black. Still works, stunning. Even this check shirt in neutral tones of brown works with the yellow as well. A neutral in a block color, this chambray shirt with yellow, gorgeous. This chambray blue to me is a neutral because it can work back with any color. It's gonna look amazing. Let me even show you the pink. What about primary colors? You would think that yellow is hard to style, right? It's not, not at all. Let's go for primary colors yellow and a gorgeous Kelly green. Stunning. Yellow and red. Gorgeous. So don't be afraid of colour. If you come across Bermuda shorts in your op shops and they are colourful, don't be afraid of it. All you need to do is ground the colour, bring it down to earth with neutrals. Let us do some try-ons now. So the look I have on today is summer. Let's try a winter look. And my God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna melt right in front of you if I have to wear a knit, but I will do my best. Okay, hopefully I won't expire while I'm filming this try on for you because I am boiling, but I've gone for a winter look with the plaid Bermuda shorts. Plaid to me is a cool weather, cozy, wintry vibe. And I did want to give you guys a colder weather look. So the knit is a beautiful neutral color, which ties in with the neutral color in my Bermuda shorts. This knit is by Estia. My belt also ties in with the color on my Bermuda shorts. They're exactly the same. It's a dark beige color. The belt is by Gant. My shoes are also by Gant, a cute little trainer. And then I have a feminine bag, which is by Oriton. And so, yeah, this is a look I would most definitely wear as it starts to cool down. I love the masculine vibe, the feminine touch with the bag, the trainer's juxtapose, the kind of polished look of the belt and the trousers. And the knit is cozy and warm, no jewelry because it's a, a mock neck, not necessary. And yeah, that is look number two. Okay, I've gone for a dressed up look. So we've dressed up the trouser pants, 
with a black blouse, a black blazer, black loafers, a black bag, and lots of gold jewelry. Now, black and gold is another styling tip. It's just a go-to of mine. I think it looks so chic and polished and just expensive. You know, you look expensive when you're wearing black and gold. And so, yeah, the only color, if you want to call it color, is the white Bermuda shorts. They pop against this outfit. This is a look that I would wear if I worked in an office environment. I've never been into corporate dressing. It's just not me. But I do feel that this look would be totally appropriate for the office. Okay, so let's break this look down. My blouse is sleeveless with all these ruffles. This is vintage. The blazer, this amazing blazer, treasure find it was, is vintage. The belt that I'm wearing with the gold accent is also vintage. The bag is vintage. Wow, a totally thrifted outfit. My loafers are not vintage, they are by coach. Now my necklaces, this first chain here is by Fossil. The fob chain is by House of Harlow and the puffy heart on the black cord is House of Harlow as well. Nord Green watch, Anna Luisa cuffs. Don't worry, I will have links to all the pieces in these outfits or similars if I can find them for you. So yeah, everything will be linked in the description box. But that my friends is a dressy kind of elevated slash corporate office job outfit, if you will. Okay, what can I give you guys next? We've done a summer one, we've done a cold weather one, we've done an elevated one. Let's do a real tomboy look. This is my idea of tomboy, my friends. A graphic tee, some high top trainers, a sling bag, a no fuss watch, and a belt tied in to the waist of my Bermuda shorts and I love it. Burgundy maroon is one of my favorite colors and I love yellow and maroon together. And let me tell you, it's not easy to find pieces that have that mix, but I absolutely love it. I also love burgundy and pink. I just, oh, I love maroon. It's, it's just, I, I can't resist it. It's beautiful. I picked up this graphic tee from Hawaii, of course, my spirit home. The belt is vintage, the high top trainers are Converse, of course, and this sling bag is by Amy Ketstenberg. And I'm sure it's still available, she's brought them back out again, because I did get this quite a few years back. But there are so many ways to wear a sling bag. You can wear it kind of under your arm and higher up on the chest so that it curves your side and chest a little like that. You can wear it totally in the back. That is such a cool vibe and it looks great from behind. Or you can just, you know, throw it on over your shoulder, just like that. Lastly, of course, the no brainer way is to wear it around your waist. And the watch I am wearing is by Lacoste. Very simple, white to tie in with the white of my graphic, the white of my belt, the white in my shoes, and the white, well, off-white of my bag. And so because I love maroon with yellow, I was stoked when I found this in Hawaii, and I love how the yellow in the graphic picks up and ties in the yellow of my Bermuda shorts. And that to me is just an easy, effortless outfit that I would bum around in on the weekends and feel totally myself. There's not much femininity in this outfit at all other than my hair. And I think that's pretty much it, but I do love it and I hope you guys do as well. So what should I do for the final look? How about I finish off with an ultra feminine look? So here is the feminine take on the Bermuda shorts. I love this outfit so much that I wanna shoot it. Now this top I've had for ages, it's silk and it's in this gorgeous still blue color. I love a tonal look. 
I, I just think it's so chic. And so with the navy Bermuda shorts, it's perfection. The only other color in this outfit is the beige in my bag and my belt and gold in my jewelry and my shoe. Now, I don't have a navy shoe. I could have gone for my navy high top converse, but I wanted this look to be ultra feminine. So when I don't have a shoe in the color I need, I go for gold or silver because those to me are natural and will just complete the outfit in the most beautiful way. I have the fob chain necklace back on, but decided on just one, just to keep this look elegant and polished. So I just love the way it looks against the silk of my top. A beautiful timepiece. Sometimes when I can't be bothered with jewelry, I put on a timepiece and it's all you need to just give your outfit that extra little bit of chicness. I am a collector of watches, so I love this one. And I left it at that with the jewelry. The gold ties in with the gold hardware on my bag and belt and my gold shoes. So the top is Lily Silk. The fob chain, as I mentioned, House of Harlow. The watch is Nord Green. My bag and my belt are by Tory Birch. And I am so glad I picked these up. They were worth the splurge. I love them so much and I never thought I would be that girl that wears the matching belt and bag but turns out I am and I'm not sorry about it. I love, 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 love. My shoes are old Sam Edelman, little pointy flats that I absolutely adore and cannot bear to part with no matter how old and beaten up they get. So yeah, that is my take on a feminine look and I, I do love it. I love it. I think it's so chic and so my friends that is a wrap on this episode three of how to be your own stylist hopefully you've learned something new and if you are not a bermuda shorts wearing kind of girl perhaps i've inspired you to try it out you never know until you try fashion is supposed to be fun and we want to keep evolving and growing i adore bermuda shorts i will never stop looking for them in the op shops and yeah they will forever grace my instagram and my body. So my friends, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please come and follow me on Instagram for daily outfit inspo. And I really hope I see you in my next one.